you have the right to produce your own food, to harvest it, and to eat yourself from that food, uh, not depending on the organization of the corporation, depending on yourself and the work of the community. And it's an important cause because we want to defend the right of the people, the communities, to, to food themselves, to grow their own food, own okay. seeds, and fight against transgenics, the corporation, and the, all the big companies who want to affect the rural production and the food production. In Colombia, we have a very difficult situation because we have a lot of natural resources like water, we have uh, petroleum, uh, we have uh, other materials using it, iPhones or technological devices, but also we have uh, a land grabbing uh, issue, a very big land grabbing issue. Uh, recently, the government want to approve a new law to facilitate the land grabbing. That is really, really uh, a big issue in our country. And we have several issues uh, in the part of the communities and fight uh, struggles about uh, uh, the water grabbing, about uh, soil grabbing, and monocultures. We have a lot of monocultures, palm monoculture. Uh, they're really impacted right now, really, really hard to the communities. Uh, because the private sector and the government thinks PPPs are the solution of our issues, and that is not uh, the, the truth. They, they want to cooperate, they want to make the farmers employees of the big companies, and that's a very big issue because the farmers, the families have the ownership of the land, and they have the rights to stay here, to live there and to have a better future for the families. And the corporate and governments doesn't think that is a good idea because the, the, the land has to be productive and they have to uh, be uh, more value to the people and the corporations. So it's a big, big uh, concern. And what we try to do is to, do some, uh, ex to expose this to the communities, but also to the general public, to be aware that what is happening and how it is going to affect the rural uh, communities in all over the world. We have to keep uh, exposing these practices. We have to keep uh, have exchange within the communities to talk with the, directly to the communities, uh, exposing what is happening to be uh, to warn them to be alert and to be concerned what is happening. That the false solutions the government are selling is not the ideal solution. It's not good for their rights, but also try to do to, to this exposing to the general public, to the students, to local governments, uh, local authorities, to housewives, to the general public, because uh, this is a struggle for our, all of us, not just rural communities. It's not easy. It, it was not uh, easy because most corporations and some governments doesn't want to talk about food sovereignty. They prefer to talk food security because it's easy and facilitate the trade and the commerce. So no, we don't see food sovereignty in, inside the SDGs. Uh, but that doesn't mean we cannot uh, ask to the governments to, to go to achieve the food sovereignty. It's a long uh, way to 2013. So we have to keep fighting to keep pushing to the governments to apply, to, to pursue the food sovereignty in our countries and ourselves, in our communities, we must do it. The most important thing is we have to keep allowing the peoples to talk, to speak, to participate. The civil society must have to participate in the implementation and the follow up to the SDGs. We have no we, we, don't, we want to participate and not keep outside with uh, an external uh, party of the implementation of development in our countries, in our world.